So I also wanted to just briefly switch topics to um, the partnership announcement um, on January 31st this year, where Emergo made a strategic investment into the leading digital merchant bank, Y2X. And people were asking about that in Telegram and every time a partnership or a word is mentioned with association with Cardano, um, everyone puts on their um, CSI goggles and tries to figure out everything that's going on. So they want to know what exactly is Y2X and what exactly is the nature of the partnership between Emergo and Y2X? So uh, the partnership with, uh, with Y2X, uh, so the full detail is available in Emergo's website uh, with the form of press release. So uh, if uh, people want to learn in details, I recommend to go to the website. But the uh, uh, quick overview about the partnership itself is uh, Y2X is a digital bank uh, and uh, Y2X is uh, going to adopt Cardano protocol uh, for the company that they're going to work with. Uh, so uh, that's really amazing news for us and I think the uh, whole, commu whole Cardano community, I guess. So this isn't like a direct to the person, like person to person, business thing. This is a big picture business thing. Y2X is a bank, a digital bank, right? That's what you're saying. Hey, I've got a question, a little bit of a tangent. Have you guys heard in the last couple of days that some cryptocurrency company, the boss died and there's $180 million worth of Bitcoin got locked up? Have you heard about that? Is that true? Yeah, that's Rick. the uh, largest exchange in, in Canada. I'm from Canada. I know a few people that have their funds locked up right now. Uh, behind a white page with black text telling them that their funds are no longer accessible. I, I've heard otherwise as of recently that this may be a hoax and the guy did not pass away and the funds are on the move. So, you know, crypto is a wild west. So I don't know, $190 million. That seems like it could be one of those, um, those crime documentaries later in life that, someone's going to find a new identity. But if that's not the case, I, I'm 100% I'm sorry, but you know how um, news floats around. It's hard to verify. It, the story seemed a little bit fishy to start off with, that one guy held the private keys for the entire exchange, but who knows? That's what I thought too. And the only reason I brought it up is because I had several people message me and say, hey, did you hear about this lockup? And I thought, doesn't multi-signature solve that problem? Like if three out of five people say, yes, this is an authorized transaction, it can go. That way, if any, if you lose any one person, you don't lose all the funds. And the first thing I thought is, oh, that sounds like a hoax. Now, not to distract from the Y2X thing, but basically Y2X is a digital bank, and I'm assuming they have all kinds of, they'll have protections in place and procedures in place to protect people's funds. And if you need like vault services for large amounts of cryptocurrencies, is that what Y2X does? Like if, if you have a very large quantity or you're using it as a commodity, uh, I don't, I'm trying to understand what they do. Do you know what they do? Or is, can you tell us about that, Mirosaki? So uh, this, this like strategic investment was made by uh, investment department of Hamago. And I, I am obviously coming from a uh, business development and, and I wasn't involved in the whole process. So I'm probably not the right person to talk about this in details. So, uh, but I, I had a discussion. I, I had a, I had a chat with a CIO, and I, th I guess the idea is uh, Y2X is going to adopt Cardano protocol uh, for the company that would like to issue security token, uh, and uh, for the SDO, uh, the Cardano protocol uh, will be used uh, when the Cardano computation layer will be ready. So I think that's the brief overview of what Y2X is going to do with utilizing Cardano blockchain. 